What I'm holding here is the Z riser. Uh, we primarily use this to change the uh, rod height for when we're using depth of field adapters, either in the up position or the down position. Uh, some people have even used it on the red camera for that same reason. Well, that's that's really like how it started, right? I mean, it didn't exist before then. We we no, we came out with this when the depth of field adapters came out. Yeah, with mm -hmm. um, it was yeah. Well, actually, I take that back. When the flip module flip for the depth, depth of field, field adapter right, came out. Right. And the bigger issue we, I noticed that, that we were having and that you were talking about in Reynolds is that, that that's kind of a heavy thing and we needed some way to support the actual depth of field adapter and adjust rods to a, a, a higher level. Right. Yeah. This does, yeah, it does double duty here. Yeah. So the Otherwise, bottom of the flip module can rest in here mm -hmm. and of course you have your, your rod height. Yeah, and it was really nice to be able to, ha be able to go change the lens height or the, the rod height either up or down because Otherwise, a lot of people were putting all their depth of field adapters and flip modules sort of in a down configuration coming off the camera, which meant you had all these rods that were way below, you know, the, the actual lens height of the camera. And then you had this really, really tall camera that, you know, you're talking about the, the base plates that come with these depth of field adapter right. kits. Right, and they're, they're way, you know, you got your camera way up that, here and I all mean, the rods. I mean, why do you like to go up? You, you always take the, lens, the depth of field adapter Well, we, we took a whole different down. approach. We decided, you know, with our universal base plate, it stays low, first of all. You're not building the camera up on stilts, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. um, so, therefore, we have to do the, the height change up in front. Uh, but now some people uh, mount the, and, and uh, the, some of the makers of these adapters uh, mount the adapters in the down position, but we don't really like that. And ours works in both ways if you want to do it that way, but that's primarily to make the camera configuration thinner. That way you can fit it in the case better, it takes up less space, the center of gravity is lower. Mm. Uh, when you set it on the ground, uh, it's a flatter profile. There's a lot of little reasons that that's an advantage. Yeah, I know people have asked me about that. They're like, you know, should I set it down? Should I set it on the up position? And it doesn't affect the image. Yeah, no, and that's so, obvious. I mean, you know, a couple of people have asked, you know, does it flip the image? No, um, I wish it did, because then we could lose a whole section of the yeah, adapter. Nice. So. so let me ask you a question here. How did this really come about? Like a lot of our parts, we can repurpose them for other things because they're all fairly universal. Um, this part here is part of our LWS plate, and then this is uh, the Q release, which we use to support our shoulder pad, but by combining both of them, uh, we came up with a new product. It's pretty simple, actually. And that's, you know, most of the products are like that. You know, they can be, you guys designed them to be able to work together in ways that, you know, no one's ever thought of before, which is, I think, you know, part of the beauty of it. Mm -hmm. Well, that's the universal nature of it. You know, you can take two or three or four parts and make a whole new product. I mean, we've seen that happen with the, the Red EV, the Zred, the right. Zwivel. We've, we've yeah. created a lot of products from existing products. Now, the first phone call from a Red user, though, uh, was it something that they fooled around with? I can't remember how that came about. We're talking about this red? No, no like the red camera, this. using this, because obviously the red camera has a higher lens position. I'm just oh, trying to remember now um, if somebody asked if this would work for that, and then we, we tried it on and said yes, or... Actually, this works great for that. It yeah. just, the way that they've designed that camera, it somehow just clears that yeah. housing the, right. the, the face of the camera beautifully, and then you, got, you can put that, these rods anywhere you want. I think it's that's perfect. how it came about, you know, history-wise, is that somebody called and asked, can you use that for the red? And we're like, hmm, probably. <laughs> and yeah. it worked. There you go. So, Scott, run us through an installation on this. The, you know, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to attach a base plate, you know, our, one of our universal base plates to the bottom of a camera. And then putting your depth of field adapter on uh, would be the next step. And then uh, you can adjust the base plate so that this there's a little dip right here in the in the top of the of this seat riser that will fit right underneath most depth of field adapters with a flip module. Mm -hmm. And what that does is help support it, and um, and then uh, it also gives it an, you know another point of contact, which you know takes all that weight off the lens, which we like. And then this this front part of the Z riser that can adjust up and down. It goes in the very front of the adapter so, so that you have enough clearance here so that it can move up and down. And then, then you just adjust these, these two Allens here. It's just real simple. Do it with the, the same Allen wrench that you adjust the base plates with. And you know, center it so that your mat box is at the perfect height. And, and then you're ready to rock.